My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm a high school student who is not involved in any relationships. I tried to read Rene Descartes once, but the more I read, the more I thought he was just a weirdo. In my class, there is a goddess of love who is the opposite of me. I found a nice restaurant the other day. Want to go to karaoke sometime? I organized a notebook for the test. Do you want me to teach you after school? I don't know. I've been invited by one of the guys from upper class. Her name is Tomoka Hanazono. She's my classmate and the most popular girl in school. Go out with me! No, with me! I think I'll spend some time with the guy who bought me Cafe Ole. Get out of the way! I'll get it! You can't beat me! I used to be on the track team! You wanna give it a shot? I used to be on the soccer team! Used to be? Good luck, everyone! A number of guys have confessed their feelings to her, but have been rejected. And yet, she seems to be gaining more and more fans every day. Maybe that's what they call a femme fatale. Hey, Tanaka! Hey! Tanaka? Hey! Oh, are you calling me? I'm sorry, it's just a common name, so I thought you were calling someone else. Is there such a misunderstanding in school? Um, actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about in private. So, could you come to the back of the school building after school? Why can't you say here? I bought some cafe au lait! See? I can't talk to you quietly. It's not easy being popular. Alright, I'll see you after school. I'll be waiting for you. Who's the fastest? Me! 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 But I'm not in the mood for cafe au lait anymore. You can drink it since you're all sweaty. I like that part of you too! I don't know what Tomoka Hanazono wants to tell me. She's the most popular girl in school! Oh, she's back! How did it go? I asked him to come to the back of the school building after school. I think he'll come, definitely. I guess he's really nervous now. So, what are you going to do if he says yes? Of course, I tell the truth right away. I don't intend to go out with him at all. It's a punishment game, so you can't run away. I can't believe that you, who is always so strong, lost 10 games in a row. There are rare days. Well, I guess it's the first time for him being confessed by a girl. If it's from me, he'll be happy even if it's a punishment game. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him the truth. Wow, you're bitchy. That's really funny! I'll take a video of it. Make sure you capture the part where he bursts into tears. After school... Sorry, I guess I made you wait. So, what did you want to talk about? Actually... Uh, I like you! Please go out with me! Huh? <laughs> I knew you'd be surprised. I'm sure you must be feeling heavenly to have a confession of love from me, a popular girl. Come on, cry and be happy and say yes! I'm sorry, let's just be friends. Nah, actually... Uh, what did you just say? Did you just say no? Well, maybe you didn't hear me right. I heard you say that you like me and you want me to go out with you. You heard me perfectly. Then why are you... Uh, are you not interested in love at all? No, it's not like that. Then why? You know, I'm quite popular. Does the fact that everyone likes you have anything to do whether I like you or not? No, but... you know... Don't you want to give it a try? I think honesty is also sincerity, so I'll tell you, you're not my type. No way! I just said no because I don't like her, but apparently, it was more of a shock than I expected at school. Hey! 
Did you really turn down Miss Hanazono's confession? Why did you do that? How did you make her fall in love with you? I really don't know how. I didn't do anything in particular. Oh my god! Oh my god! But it's Tomoka Hanazono! You didn't have to say no. What a waste! I'm not interested. I don't understand why everyone wants to go out with her just because she's popular. I don't understand. What are you interested in then? Bread and circuses? You're like an ancient Roman. On the other hand, the girls who don't like Miss Hanazono were getting excited about that I dumped her. No way! She's really funny. Her expression looks really funny. I think she's getting a little carried away. She's well deserved this time. You're right. Creating a group of fan is just too ridiculous. That gloomy guy! He's ruining my life! I'll make him fall in love with me so much he'll only see me! Then I'll dump him so hard he'll never get over with me! The next day at lunchtime. Tanaka! Won't you eat lunch with me today? What's going on all of a sudden? I made sandwiches. I want you to eat them. Did I just hear Tomoko Hanazono made a homemade lunch? Oh no! I've never even seen it before! I can't believe it's real! What are they talking about? What do they mean a non-existent home-cooked lunch? How about this reaction from the guys? My home-cooked lunch is just like you and me. Now you know what they're worth. Come on, eat up! Well, thank you. Bon appétit! I'll have it. Is it an egg sandwich? It's an egg sandwich! Is it a tomato sandwich? It's a tomato sandwich! Is it a fish cake sandwich? <clears throat> fish cake? Huh? We always put fish cakes in sandwiches. Is that weird? Thanks for the food. It was delicious. Oh, is that it? Oh, I should have said more about how it tasted. The fish cake sandwich was a better match than I thought it would be. No! You're supposed to be moved! If I were you, I was just about out of tears! I'm grateful, though. So, you mean that a true man of charm is unmoved by her lunch? I'm just glad you ate all of it. Can I make it and bring it to you again? Sure. That would be great. You look like you just appreciate the bento. Damn, I guess bento isn't enough to make him fall in love with me. Next! The next day. Tanaka, did you watch last night's anime? You have dark circles. <laughs> I watch all the episodes up to the latest one. What happened all of a sudden? I just remember that you said you watch it. I thought it would be nice to share the same topic with you. Thank you for doing that. But staying up late is poison to your body. You're getting dizzy. No, it's not a problem at all. Oh. Uh, uh. You fell asleep. She's trying so hard. It's really funny. She's helpless. Is she really that frustrated that there's one guy doesn't go for her? Maybe she's not happy about it. When she finds a good-looking guy, she intentionally makes him fall in love with her and then dump him. I wonder if she's aware that we don't like her. If she did, she wouldn't do that. That's true. I'm sure she'll regret it someday. Why does she do that kind of thing? Damn, I fell asleep. Ugh. No home-cooked food. No common topics of conversation. And the only thing he seems to be interested in is... Oh, right! I think he said he was interested in the circus. <laughs> okay, look, look! I've learned how to do juggling! No, the bread and circus is an ancient Roman parable about being satisfied with food and a little entertainment. Oh, 
So that's why the lunch you made was a sandwich? Oh, really? I've been practicing tightrope walking too. I think it's admirable that you dare to practice on your own. Hey, can I ask you something? What is it? Is it true that you intentionally make guys fall in love with you and then dump them one after another? I don't know who told you that, but how brave of you to say it to my face. I'm involved in this too. I apologize if it's wrong. No need to apologize. It's true. Why do you do that? Because it makes me realize that I have value. Do you ever feel the need to confirm your value? No, I don't. I'm not so desperate that I leave it to others to judge my value. Uh, I don't understand you. I'm kind of tired. I'm going home. It's getting a little dark. It's not safe. Should I walk you home? No, leave me alone for now. Okay. Be careful! What is he? I feel like an idiot for doing such thing. But I know I'm an idiot. Hey! Oh, you're... from the next class. What do you want? You turned me down last month, but I still can't give up on you. Will you go out with me? I'm not in the mood for that right now. Don't be so irresponsible after you were so suggestive to me. I don't have any responsibility. Leave me alone. You're always taking advantage of guys. Then what? Are you going to attack me or something? What? You're playing around anyway, right? Why don't you let me play with you too? Oh no. I can't escape from this guy. Well, I guess I deserve it. Come on. Come here. Get off. I need to talk to her first. What? Tanaka? I was worried about you, so I followed you. But I guess I was right. What are you? Tomoka's stalker? I can't deny that I've been following her right now. But I don't want you to tell me that. We have something important to talk about! Get off here, you creep! Tanaka! I just... Run away from here! I'm fine! Ouch! I've taken self-defense as part of my compulsory education. It's no big deal against amateurs. Don't get smart with me, you geek! Do you think it's worth it to be liked by a guy like this? I don't think so. That's... You don't have to do this. You only need to know your own value. I don't need you to say... Now I know a little something about you two. You are hardworking, doer, competitive, and straightforward. I think you still have a lot of value, even if you don't take what others think of you in your mind. Really? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I knew that or not. Ouch! I won't do it again! Let go of me! I'll deal with this guy before I leave. Okay. Thanks for saving me. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I can't believe how happy I am to see him tomorrow. What's wrong with me? A few days later, word had spread from somewhere that I had fought off a stalker. I couldn't do anything when Miss Hanazona was in danger. But I'm glad she is safe. Thank you, Tanaka. Thank you so much. I just happened to be there. Tanaka, I want to ask you something. Can you come to the back of the school building after school? Sure, I'll see you after school. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Could it be? What? Are you still playing the punishment game? Don't play with those introverts so much. Why are you getting so serious about it? Because I'm serious. Huh? Uh, okay. Don't you think she's changed? Does she really like that guy? The real confession makes me nervous. I wonder if the people who have confessed their feelings to me have been like that. I don't know if I'm allowed to confess my true feelings to Tanaka with that past. Still, I made my decision. I'll tell him first. If I'm not forgiven, then I'll think about it. 
Sorry. I guess I made you wait. What did you want to talk about? Tanaka, I actually... That is me. An elementary school student, Yuto Tanaka was being raised by a housekeeper instead of his busy parents. Mr. Yuto, the most important thing to survive in this harsh world is power. As long as you have power, you can solve almost anything. The housekeeper, Reina Oniyama, is a former military soldier, the strongest mercenary who has been in many foreign battlefields. She used to often say that I needed to become strong. And to become a strong person, Reina trained me thoroughly. I honestly don't know how powerful I am, but I felt that I was getting stronger day by day. Mr. Yuto, you've worked so hard until today. I'm a little sad to see you go, but my role ends here. I put in all the skills I have. Now you should be good enough anywhere you go. This is where my new life begins. I was so excited thinking that, but... To my surprise, the junior high school I entered was one of the worst schools in my hometown. It looks obviously unsafe. Well, I can handle it. And then... Here, go buy some juice. In one minute, okay? I'll beat you up if you can't. One minute? I can do that. Even if I run as fast as I can, it'll still take me a minute each way. Hey, are you talking back to us? Looks like you need to be pounded on for you to understand. Hey, you want me to buy it for you? Huh? Who the hell are you? Acting like you have some kind of sense of justice. Well, that's fine. But if you say you're going instead of him, you have 30 seconds. If you don't come back in 30 seconds, we'll beat you up. You can run away if you want, then we'll just beat him up instead. What? You're going to give me 30 seconds? You're much nicer than you look. Okay. That's absurd. You don't have to go that for me. I... No problem at all. Come on, are you serious? I'm going to time you properly. You're just going to abandon this poor guy, aren't you? Well, that is also a funny way the story goes. There's no merit in saving this guy anyway. You ready? Ready? Go! And I ran to the vending machine and came back. Here you go. What? What the f- You came back in less than 10 seconds! That's impossible! This guy is inhuman! Well, Reina-san, challenge me to do even more hard things. Thank you so much, you helped me a lot! Don't worry about it, I've been taught to help those in need. Even after that, I tried to go to talk to any students who was in trouble. It's a school life. Everyone should have a good time after all. For example, helping a student who was being mugged. Come on, give me all your money! I don't have any money! Of course you have money! Are you kidding me? Hurry up or I'll hurt you! Hey, stop it! What the hell? Mind your own business! Such a hot-tempered guy. Sorry if I can't go easy on you. Ugh. Damn, what the hell is this guy? He's so strong! Thanks! Thanks for saving me! And also, I made delinquent students who were disrupting the class shut up. Hey, you guys! We're in class, so be a little quieter! What? What did you say? I can't hear you. Nobody's listening to you. <laughs> Some of us are taking the class seriously. Can you please be quiet? What? What's up with you? If you're going to go up against us, you better be prepared. You're the ones who are ready to fight, am I correct? Once you raised your fist, you can't stop it. What happens next? Well, you know the drill. I know I took some aggressive measures, but the delinquents in our junior high school basically don't listen to anyone, so I couldn't stop it. At the same time, I was also looked at as a weirdo. I continued to do all these things, and before I knew it, I gained trust from my classmates. Since Yuda's arrival, our school is in peace, isn't it? Yeah, he's been a big help, but he does something different, isn't he? Yeah, the other day. Hey, what are you eating? Is that good? Huh? Oh, this? It's field ration. Isn't that what soldiers eat? Yeah, you want to try some? What the hell is this? Normal lunch tastes way better. It's to quickly feed yourself up with nutritious. And also, this has all the nutritious needed for you. Why do you need it? You're not even a soldier. I also saw the other day. Hey, what are you doing, Yuto? I'm doing wall sits. 
I can see that, but isn't it exhausting? No problem to me. It's a daily routine. Besides, if I can train during class, it's kill two birds with one stone, right? You want to give it a try too? Um, no. I'll pass on that one. Yeah, he's quite a weird guy. But you can count on him. Yeah, but I wonder if he's okay. If he stands out too much, those guys wouldn't shut up about him. And so it goes. One day, when he was enjoying his school life... You are getting too carried away these days, aren't you? If you want to stay safe, I suggest you don't do anything that will make me uncomfortable. Who the hell are you? What? You don't know me? This me? That is Misaki Akabani. She is the girl leader of this class. Akabani's brother is the leader of this school, so if you go against her, her brother will beat you up. That is why no one can get go against Akabani. I see. That's right. So, what happens if you go against me? Even you, with your lack of brains, can understand that. Nah, I don't get it. Hmm. Okay. It seems like you're going to behave like that. Did you get things mixed up because you're a little strong? Doesn't matter to me if you regret it. Hey, hey, Yuto! The Akabani siblings are not a good idea. You should apologize before it's too late. That's right, if you're standing up for us, but that's also the reason why I don't want you to get hurt. No problem. It's not for you guys. I'm doing this because I want to. And a few days later, as expected or rather as declared, Misaki Akabani's brother, Ryugo Akabani, came to visit me. Are you Yudo Tanaga? I heard you've been getting carried away lately, so I wondered what kind of a guy you were. But look at yourself, you look so miserable. What do you want from me? <laughs> I've heard you are a fool, but it seems you don't even know how to talk to your seniors. I'll be happy to be your mentor. And you have to think about how you're going to be behave yourself once you see the pain that is coming. Okay. <laughs> this is all your fault. This is what happens when you disobey me. My brother's going to beat you up. Shame on you. Hey, hey, this isn't going well. But maybe if it's you, though. Do you seriously think you can beat me? I have a martial arts experience, but you don't, do you? Yeah, I don't. But if I had to say, I have military training. What? Well, never mind. I'll finish you off with a single blow. With a single blow? What? What? With one hand? Are you kidding me? Sorry, but it's real. Now let me go over here. <laughs> Learn from this, and you'd better behave better. Hooray! Thank Tanaka, he's done it! Yugo Akabane, I can't believe he beat him so easily! I can't believe it, what's with that strength? I can't believe he beat my brother, but maybe he's kind of attractive. Then, our school became more peaceful after beating Ryugo. It became more peaceful, but there came a different problem I countered. Hey Yuto, I made lunch for you. Would you like to join me? I'm actually a good cook. I don't know why, but Misaki, Ryugo's sister, seems to really like me. She should have every reason to hate me and not have any reason to like me. But, hey, looks like Misaki really changed. <laughs> but it's good that we are all at peace now. There's a new cafe right in front of the train station. Let's go there together after. Um, or do you want a place where we can be alone? What, what? Things going too fast. I can keep up with all that. Don't worry about the small things. Love is supposed to run in a hurry. And one more thing to worry about. No, two. Yuto, I completely lost to you the other day. You're the one who deserved to be the leader of this school. What? I'm sure that. I can trust you to lead this school. Wait a minute. I'm not interested in that stuff. Well, I like this kind of things where you pass on your feelings to your juniors. Hey you, siblings don't listen to people at all, don't you? And also, the delinquent students came to me to say they want to be trained. I'll do anything for you, Yuto. I'll even request by getting down on my knees or go buy stuff for you. So please, please train us. I'll go with you, Yuto, for the rest of my life. Ah, <sighs> how did this happen? But if someone else become a leader, maybe more people will show up to do bad things and they'll be even more troublesome. Okay. From today on, I'll be the leader, but you have to do what I say. Yes, of course! He's our new leader! Long live Mr. Yudo! 
Thank you so much. I'll be close to your side for the rest of my life. If you desert your leader, we'll be safe too. Yeah, we can trust him. Congratulations, Yuta. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. I'll do anything for you, Yuta. Um, okay. This is how I became the leader of this school. It's some work, but recently I'm thinking that it's not so bad. It's not the school life I had imagined, but being loved by everyone, I'm having a meaningful school life. Hey, the weather is nice, so why don't we go out somewhere? Eh? I don't want to. I just want to relax at home. My name is Yuto Tanaka. I'm an ordinary working man. I've been married to Mizuki Murakami, who used to work at the same company for a few years now. My marriage has completely cooled off. Well, don't say that. It's your days off. I said I'm fine. If you want to go out so badly, why don't you just go out by yourself? No, I'll go with Mizuki and... Huh. When I talk to her like this, Mizuki is cold to me every time. To be honest, I was tired of everyday life like this. But Mizuki quit her job, and she must have a lot of things to think about. We are a married couple, so I have to work harder. Support Mizuki! That's what I kept telling myself, but tomorrow, I have a planning meeting at work. Takahashi, you remember him, right? He's going to be at the meeting too, so I can't lose tomorrow. Hmm, I see. So, Ayaka is helping me with a project I'm working on. Do you remember her? The new girl who joined the company just before you quit. She couldn't do her job at all at first, but she's a very hard worker in this new project. Are you done? I'm going to bed soon. Uh, okay. Good night. Huh. Even after all this hard work, Mizuki is still not interested. Why has she become so cold lately? What? That's unusual. Did Mizuki forget her phone? Lately, she spends more time looking at her phone than talking to me. I wonder what she's doing. I think she's getting a notification. Is this? It was fun meeting you two alone the other day. When can we meet again? Who's Ryuji? I don't think... That's the sound of the stairs! Mizuki is coming back? Uh, 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 my phone! Hi Mizuki, what's going on in such a hurry? Nothing. Where's my phone by the way? Your phone has been on the table. Oh, okay. You didn't look at it, did you? N no, I didn't. Then that's good. Well, good night. I can't believe she got so upset. That's what it means, right? She always said she never leaves the house on weekdays. Don't tell me she's having an affair with this guy Ryuji! I saw the message that they two were meeting alone. Once I suspect cheating, everything seems suspicious. I decided to follow Mizuki. I thought she said she was going out with her girlfriends today. I hope I'm wrong about the cheating. Someone's here! Sorry to keep you waiting! Let's go! Yeah, I can't wait! Is that the... girl? Alright, I guess I was wrong after all. Well, let's just keep following her. In the end, Mizuki chatted with her girlfriend in the coffee shop until the evening. <laughs> what a waste of time! Well, I'm glad she wasn't cheating on me. Oops, I guess she will get out of here. I'm tired of doing this. Is Mizuki going home after this? Huh? Mizuki, what are you doing? She's alone and then scurrying around. Oh! She's going in the direction of fewer people! She's gone! Where the hell did she go? This is how I lost Mizuki. And that night... Welcome back. What did you do today? What do you mean? I was just talking with my friend at a coffee shop. And after that? What? I just came home after that. Oh, all right. It's a lie! If that were true, it wouldn't be so late at night! Where were you going after you left your friends? Out of the public eye! I suppressed the urge to say so. I see. I'm glad you had fun. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. And after Mizuki goes to bed, I brought Mizuki's phone. If there is any evidence of cheating, it should be only here. Now that Mizuki is asleep, hurry up and check it! This is... 
It was fun meeting you today too, Chu. I can't wait to see Mizuki again. Let's stay together until the night next time. I knew you were cheating on me. Lying. She cheated on me. This is how I became convinced that Mizuki was cheating on me. Since then, I couldn't trust Mizuki anymore. Wow. I heard that actor had an affair. That's terrible. Which mouth is talking? Hmm. What? What's with that reaction? Nothing. Oh! Hey, where are you going? To my room. I just want to be alone and relax. You should clean your room first. You've been slacking off lately, haven't you? If you want to do it so badly, why don't you do it yourself? I'm going to bed. Wait, what's with that reaction? This is fine. Talking with her stresses me out. My cold attitude toward her continued after that. Hey, what's up with you lately? Hello, you should at least answer me. Huh? What? You can't say what. If you don't want me, don't talk to me. Well, I have an idea. Do you want to go out with me? It's been a while. The weather's nice, and it's a day off. I said I'm fine. If you want to go out so badly, why don't you just go by yourself? Hey, why do you say that? Not long ago, you were asking me out. I'm not in the mood for that. By the way, I'm going on a business trip next week, so I'll be gone for a week. You can also go out as much as you want, Mizuki. Next week is... Well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Next week is my birthday. I knew Yuto was no good. Will that guy come for me? A week after that... Yuto-senpai, thank you for working hard today. Ayaka, thanks for your hard work. Huh? You have a lot of luggage today. Are you on a business trip by any chance? No, I just thought it might be nice to stay out for a change once in a while. But is your wife okay with that? It's just that there are days when she's in that kind of mood. Hmm, marriage is tough too, isn't it? Then I turned my feet to a nearby business hotel alone. Uh, yes, it was a lie that it was a business trip. I don't think Mizuki will spend her birthday alone. With me gone, it would be the perfect opportunity to spend it with her fling. <sighs> now, I just have to wait for the detective to get the evidence. Then, I spent my life going back and forth between the business hotel and the office for a week. Yuto-senpai, you look like you're having a hard time lately. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be careful. Just imagining what's going on at home right now hurts my heart. Even with Ayaka, my junior, worrying about me. I somehow managed to endure the whole week. Later in the day, the results of the detective's investigation have finally arrived. The result is... Black after all, huh? And it's that Takahashi. I didn't know his name is Ryuji, so he kept in touch with her even after she left the company. The one in the photo sent by the detective was Ryuji Takahashi, a co-worker. How long have they been in a relationship? Maybe since before Mizuki left the company. Well, that's okay. They'll see. This is how I made my decision. Wait a minute. Did you suspect me? I can't believe it. I confronted Mizuki with the evidence of her affair. Then she was upset with me at first. You also lied to me about the business trip. Do you enjoy fooling me like that? It can't be fun. It was painful when I told your parents. What? You told my parents too? Don't do that, please! I can't help it, although you beg me. I've already contacted them. Wait, you're misunderstanding. Please, forgive me. I'll do anything. Ha! <laughs> All right. What? Really? Then sign this. Okay. I said anything, but this is a divorce paper. I can't do it anymore. We can't start over now. Let's break up. Other than that, I'll listen to anything else. Stop it! Dad? Even Mom? Our daughter has cost you so much trouble. We are truly sorry. We will take responsibility for Mizuki. I'm really embarrassed for making Yuto-san feel this way. Think you won't be able to leave the house for a while. Oh no! I'm getting a divorce with Mizuki without a hitch. Mizuki's parents have paid me alimony. The case is now closed. Mizuki is locked up in her parents' house. Takahashi also quits the company due to the fact of adultery. So it was. That was tough. I'm back to being a bachelor and... 
I came to have a drink with Ayaka, a junior colleague, after work. We haven't been in good spirits lately. I'm sorry for troubling you too, Ayaka. No, if it's okay with you, I'll listen to your complaints anytime. <laughs> you are reliable, aren't you? If it were me, I wouldn't let you have such a hard time. What? Senpai, you're already divorced, right? Yes. Um, actually, I'd like to talk to you. When there is a breakup, there is also a new encounter. I was divorced, and I was going to have a new life. <sighs> now the courtyard is clean. Thank you for always helping me. No, no! It's fun for me too. And it feels good to have my school cleaned up. I, Yuto Tanaka, was a former soldier in a mercenary unit and was feared as a cleaner. I'm retired from the army and I'm going to change my job to a cleaner at a high school. Apparently, cleaning is in my blood. This high school is a famous local delinquent school. The principal has been looking after me since I retired from the army and asked me to clean up the school. As a delinquent school, the interior of the school was a mess and the students were generally bad. Even so, there are kind kids everywhere. The girl who just helped me clean up is Chihiro Higashiyama. She helps me out of the goodness of her heart. And today, she helped me too. Are you sure? You're busy too, aren't you? It's fine. I always say I do it because I like it. But if you insist, please buy me an ice cream. It's so hot. I feel like I'm going to melt. All right, that's no big deal. Oh, you're in the right place. Here, I'll give it to you. You're so kind to go out of your way to give him a job. Hey, don't trash it. There's a bin in the classroom. What? This is your job. We throw the rubbish away so you can have a job. You should be thanking us. Okay, so I guess it's you guys who have to clean up. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? Hey, hey, Mr. Yuto, you should apologize. They're really merciless. They'll beat you to a pulp. Ha, that's too late. I'll make sure you never talk to me like that again. Don't worry, Chihiro. Everything's fine. You should stay back. It's dangerous. What? What the? Oh, no way! You're so strong. You're not just a cleaner. No, I'm just a cleaner. I am and always have been. How intimidating. The atmosphere you have is of someone who has been through a lot of hardships. I just realized one thing. I'm going to clean out the delinquents who are the cause of the increase in rubbish. Then, the school will be clean. It's my job to clean up the school. When I think about it, I felt uncomfortable when the principal said, please clean up this school. If he just wanted me to clean up, he wouldn't have used those words. Did he expect me to go this far and ask me to do this? Whoa! You can do it, Mr. Yuto! I may not be able to do much, but if you don't mind, let me help you. Yeah, let's make this school better together. I also want to make this school better. This is how me and Chihiro started cleaning up the school. Mr. Yuto, there's a student being robbed over there. Okay, I'm on my way. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's get something out of you. This is a present I'm buying for my sister's birthday. That's good. Give us a present instead of your sister. Eek! You'll have to give that back. If you want money, get a real job. No, no, I'm just borrowing some money. Don't get too mad. Well, I don't know when I'll pay you back, though. I'll say it again. Give it back. And don't ever do this again. We're just trying to be nice to you, so get out of here. Or, do you have to see the pain to understand? Ugh. You guys always resort to violence. Well, it's easier that way. I went easy on you. It shouldn't have been too serious. Don't do this again, okay? Do you understand? I'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry, sir! Are you alright? Thank you very much. That was really cool. Sorry, Mr. Yuto. I know you're tired, but there was a fight over there. Yeah, I'm on my way. Let me know if you need anything else. Yes! As I was heading, there were two delinquent students in a fierce fist fight. You guys are pretty energetic, huh? Huh? What the hell are you doing? Don't get in my way. Let's start with you. You guys won't listen to me when I tell you to stop fighting. Then, well, I'll fight with you. In return, if you lose, you're not allowed to fight from now on. Fine. Let's start with you first. I'll make you regret talking so big. Hey, what the hell is this guy? He's too strong. Darn, 
I can't beat him. He's on another level. If you really want to get violent, come to me. I'll fight with you if I'm not busy. Okay, I'll keep my promise. But I'll definitely beat you up one day. After that, I continued to do cleanup work with Chihiro. Before long, I became feared in the school by delinquents. While I was greatly supported by the students who were having trouble with the delinquents. In addition, more and more people were helping me besides Chihiro. Hey, your promise that you'll do whatever I say if I beat you is still valid, right? Yeah, in case I lose. Yes! What will I ask you to do if I win? Something like going out with me? What? That's not fair. I want to go out with Yuto too. You can't do it. I'm the one who's going to beat Yuto. You're the one who can't do it, aren't you? You didn't even hit him a bit the other day, did you? Oh, hey, you guys don't have to fight. Yes, of course, of course. Or rather, we can cooperate and defeat Yuto for now. You're saying something disturbing. What's the matter with you, Chihiro? Nothing at all. You look like you're having fun with girls. No, I'm not thinking in that way. Are you... jealous? No, no, no way! I'm not jealous of you. Don't get the wrong idea. Is that the rumored Yuto Tanaka? He looks weaker than I thought. Fool! Do you know how many people have been defeated because of his appearance? I've seen him fight, but we'll never beat him. What? You guys are talking funny. Ryu, Mr. Yugo! Is that Yuto Tanaka stronger than me? No, 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 he's not. No one in the school can beat you, Mr. Yugo. Of course not. All right, I get it. I'll help you guys and beat him up. Are you serious? I can't let him get carried away like this. Well, if Mr. Yugo's in, we're sure to win. Mr. Yuto, have a look at this. What is it? A letter? It says that Ryugo Oniyama wants to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with me. Ryugo Oniyama, is he famous? Yes, he's the head of the biggest local biker gang. And he's definitely the strongest in the school. He wants a one-on-one -on -one fight with you, with the whole school watching. He's trying to make a spectacle of it. I see, that's just right. If I defeat him, the others will be quiet as well. I'm sure you will be fine, but... Be careful, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. Oh, don't worry. I'll finish it right away. <laughs> I'll buy you an ice cream if you win. So please, do your best. Ryugo Oniyama was there at the appointed time. A large number of his men and bystanders were there too. Apparently, he wants to crush the hopes of ordinary students by defeating me. Yo, I praise you for coming here without running away, cleaner Yuto Tanaka. Here I am being called by the same name I used to be. You did what you wanted in my territory. I'm not going to let you beat me easy. This school isn't your territory. I'll beat you with ease. Don't worry. I'll shut your little mouth right away! Ah! Huh! He threw sand in his face and blind him! Ha 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 ha! Did you think you'd get a fair fight? This ain't a gay match, it's a fight! I know, I've been fighting in that world my whole life. What? He dodged my punch in poor visibility! What's wrong? You should be the leader of a biker gang, but that's all you got? Stop being cheeky, you bastard! I'm going to clean up this school. That's my mission. I'll show no mercy for that. Sorry, this is probably going to hurt a little bit. Nah. Ugh! Darn! You're too strong! The, the cleaner, cleaner won! won! Whoa! Oh no, Mr. Yugo lost! You were kidding! Then... There's no one in the school who can beat the cleaner! This is how I succeeded in cleaning up the delinquents in the school. Now, Chihiro and her friends will be able to live in peace for a while. Well, thank you for your help, Yuto. You've done more than I expected. Thanks to you, this school is saved. I want to thank you in some way. I can give you a better job if you want. No, I like this job a lot. Please let me keep it. Well, if that's what you want, I don't have a choice. I'd be very grateful if you could continue to help the students at our school. Mr. Yuto, um, I heard about you. Is it true that you are a legendary mercenary who came to save this corrupted school? And now that your mission is over, you're quitting your job as a cleaner? I think rumors are amplified. I'm not quitting. I'm going to be here for a while. Well, that's good. You're really, really... Really not going away, right? 
I'm not going to lie to you. Thank goodness. Now we can clean up together again. Oh, cleaning's a peaceful one, of course. At any rate, thank you for what you've done. Thank you for saving our school. Yeah. Ah, there's a promise. I'll buy you an ice cream. Since we're celebrating, you can have two. Let's go, Mr. Yuto. Oh, dear. It's not my intention to have a student buy me something. Well, at least for today. And so, my days as a cleaner continue. I clean the school together with the students. Thanks to us, the school is now calm and peaceful. Hoping that the day never comes when I'm called a cleaner again. I'm Yuto Tanaka, working in the real world. And I'm actually a president of a company I started. <sighs> What's up with the Psy president? Seems like you've been troubled about something recently. Yes, I'm sure you already know this since you're my secretary. But I heard our sales department has a high turnover rate. Yes, there are hardly any employees who stay longer than three years. I know sales is a hard job, but isn't it still strange? What do you mean? I've notified the sales manager not to do any unreasonable sales. I don't think it's that bad of an environment where all the employees want to quit. What do you think from your standpoint? I totally agree with what you just said. The working environment at our company should be one of the best in the industry. We're paying a good amount to our employees too. Benefits-wise, I can't think of a reason why new employees don't want to stay. It could be possible that... There's a problem with personal relationships within the office. Do you mean there is somebody that's causing trouble? I think we need to do some investigation. I'll interview some people in the sales department. And at a later day... Hmm... Even after you interviewed some people, you have no idea? Does that mean there's no conflict among the employees? They might not have been able to report it honestly. When we started thinking about it, there were so many possibilities. But there's got to be a reason why all the new employees are quitting. I know. Then I can be in their shoes. Mr. President, what are you thinking? I got it. I'm actually going to work there as an employee for a while. As long as I dress differently, they're not going to find out it's me. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's not going too far? Nah, it'll be fine. Please take care of the office while I'm gone. I went through the process of working at my own company, and one month later... Okay, this should be good enough. I'm glad I don't look like a big old president. But I'm starting to feel nervous, even though this is my own company. Today is my first day here. I'm Yuki Tanaka. I'm gonna work hard. So, I hope we can work well together. I'm Setsuna Kurosaki, and I'm going to be training you as your boss. I'm going to be strict from the beginning, so be prepared. I'm going to see my client now, so follow me. What? First thing in the morning? I heard I'd go to see the clients after I received some training at the office. That sounds so lukewarm. I don't know who told you that, but in the sales department, I make the rules. Keep that in mind. Y Yes, I had no idea. We have an employee like this? When you come with me next time, be sure to bring the document. But, but, isn't that something the person who got the appointment is supposed to do? Do it, okay? It's ten years too early to talk back to me. Huh. <sighs> I somehow managed to finish it. Good job, Tanaka. Seems like you came back alone. What about Miss Kurosaki? She said she'd go straight home and headed to the station. Miss Garosaki's training is really strict, so watch out. So many employees got destroyed by her. Hey, if you say things like that, you're gonna regret it when Miss Kurosaki finds out. Th that's right. She must be really bad for her subordinates to say this much. This hasn't been reported to the top in the past. Has she been stopping it in the middle? Anyway... I need to keep paying attention. Miss Minase, what's going on with this? The negotiation with the client we met the other day hasn't progressed at all. Uh, I'm sorry. 
The client wants to make a decision after looking at other properties. And you're just going to let them do that? I don't believe it. You can just mention some good conditions or something and just make them sign the contract. But we can't offer any discount with this property. Then you can tell them a lie or anything. Excuse me, Miss Gorosaki. That's not allowed as part of sales, is it? Who do you think you are? You're a new guy and you're gonna talk to me like that? An employee who can't do his job doesn't have any say. Miss Minase, if you don't improve, you can't complain even if you get fired. Y yes I see. This is how she's been threatening her subordinates. I guess Miss Gorosaki was the cause of the high turnover rate in the sales department. Tanaka, what about you? Don't tell me you don't have any appointments. Don't worry about it, please. I have ten of them as of now. I'm planning on meeting five clients today after this. Uh, oh, you're doing pretty good, I guess. I got it. I won't make your attitude a problem then. But keep it in mind, only an employee with numbers have a say. If you can't get the actual contract, you know what's gonna happen, right? <sighs> I managed to get out of it. I might have gotten marked by Miss Gorosaki. Um, thank you for saving me. You just started as this company, and it's amazing that you already got 10 appointments. You are? I'm Akari Minase. It's my second year working here. I have only gotten a contract on my own just a few times. Miss Kurosaki didn't like me, as you could see. I could get fired any time if I don't improve. No way. <sighs> I'll listen if you're okay with me, so please cheer up. Really? Yes, but I'm meeting my client soon. So, if you can wait, why don't we go out for dinner? D thank you so much! I'm sorry to make you come out even though you're tired. Don't worry about it. I can't just leave you alone when you're troubled. Plus, I wanted to hear more about the sales department. From what I can tell, it's clear that Miss Korosaki is targeting you. Yes. Currently, I'm working on the negotiation for purchasing the whole apartment. But Miss Korosaki is upset and tells me to hurry up and make the client sign the contract. Um, that should take a long time. Purchasing the whole apartment is really rare. Recently, she tells me that the client is hesitant because of me. She is pushing me every day to let her do the negotiation. D <laughs> Does she tell you such a thing? Cutting in at this point is like stealing your achievement. I think you should make a complaint. Is that how it should be? But as I get yelled at by her, I get petrified. I can't say anything in front of Miss Kurosaki. I don't care about my achievements, but leaving the negotiation in the middle seems irresponsible to my client. What should I do in the future? Miss Minase, you're doing a great job making such a big contract progress this far all by yourself. There's nothing to feel bad about. Can you let me take care of Miss Gorosaki? What? Miss Minase, what's going on with the purchase of the whole apartment? If there's no progress, I'll go see the client next time. Th that Anything wrong with that? I heard about the situation, Miss Gorosaki. You again, Tanaka? You one-sidedly yell at your subordinate and scare her to mess up her emotions. That's a malicious trick. Oh? That's quite a remark. I'm just teaching my subordinate what sales is about. Then, why do you try to take over the negotiation? Changing the person in charge in the middle is not gonna benefit anyone. Okay, so what's your point? You should know it already. You shouldn't take away Minas' work. If you consider your subordinate and client, you should let her do it all the way. You have quite an opinion, Mr. New Worker. But what authority do you have to say such remarks to me? I do have authority. I didn't want to reveal myself if I didn't have to. Yuto Tanaka. What? You're, by any chance, the president of this company? People don't notice me just with this much change of outfit. Miss Kurosaki, I got to see how you treat your subordinates. 
Mr. President, uh, I'm so sorry for what I've done. Um, I was thinking too much about this company and I went too far with the training. I don't want to hear your excuses now. I clearly understand how you treat people weaker than you are. Usually, I should file a case at an appropriate institution. But I let you get by with quitting for personal reason. What are you going to do? For your future benefits, I think that's better. Uh, I understand. I'm going to do that. I never thought Mr. Tanaka was the president. I'm sorry for being over-friendly in the past. That's okay. More than that, I'm glad I was able to help you out. Thank you so much! It's been a month since then. Since then, how's the atmosphere at the company? Because we dismiss Miss Kurosaki, the sales department seems to have returned to its peaceful state. The atmosphere has become better, and the performance is improving. I guess everything is settled for now. Um, Mr. Tanaka... Miss Minase, what are you doing in front of the president's office? Are you going home now? If you're okay, will you let me return the favor to you? N no thank you Don't worry about it. I can't just do nothing after you help me. I'll do anything I can. Anything, huh? Hmm. Then, let's have dinner at the restaurant we went the other day. Yes! For my employee smiles, I can probably work hard on anything. I, Yuto Tanaka, a working adult, work at an advertising agency. It's been almost three years since I started dating Makiko Kashiwabara, who works at the same company as me. I haven't seen you at all lately. I'm sorry. I'll make time for you after I finish next week's competition. Next week's corporate project competition? <sighs> that outcome of which will greatly affect my life from now on. I'm going to submit the project I've been working on for a long time. If I'm chosen, I'm sure I'll have the confidence to ask Makiko to marry me. Great! This is turning out to be a pretty good proposal. I'm sure I will win the competition with this proposal. Tanaka, are you still working? You should take some rest. Is that a competition proposal? Yeah, it's already next week. Thanks to working late into the night every day, I've come up with something I'm satisfied with. Really? I haven't finished it yet. I've got to push harder. Well, I'm going home now. Okay, good night. <sighs> okay, finally. No one is here. Yuto, I'm sorry. I'll take a look a little bit. Oh, whoa. This is very well done. I've got a good idea. I'll put it to good use. And the next week. Okay, then. Let's start the corporate project competition. Let me take- Be the first to present. Here are the documents for my proposal. I'm pretty confident about it, to be honest. I was surprised when I saw the documents. What is this? This project is mine. Hmm? Is it? Maybe they're alike. It's true that it's not a perfect copy of mine. It's rather easier to understand than my project. It's as if he reworked it afterwards. Oh, this proposal is pretty good, Takahashi. I didn't know you could come up with something this good. How do you think, President? Yes, it's good. I can tell you put a lot of thought into it. Next up is Tanaka's project. Yes, please refer to... these documents. Hmm? This is... It has the same concept and idea as Takahashi's project. Hmm... This is also a good project, but... it's... After seeing Takahashi's project, I can't help but think it's not as good as Takahashi's. That's right. I admire your point of view and ideas, though. It's unfortunate that you have a project with the same approach as Takahashi's. Well, now everyone is done with their presentations. I'm going to select Takahashi's project for this competition. I'm looking forward. Yay! Well, I was confident about it. Thank you all for choosing me. <sighs> I've had a rough day. 
It was a winning proposal. I knew it was more than just a like. Could it be that Takahashi stole my proposal? No, I don't think so. He wouldn't even know the password to the PC in the first place. Well, no matter how much I think about it, there's nothing I can do now. <sighs> One day, a while after the competition. Lately, I'm not really getting into my work. I can't stop thinking about the competition no matter what I do. Hmm? That's... Makiko and Takahashi? Makiko, why are you with Takahashi? And you're holding hands! Yuto, I thought you were supposed to be working late today. I wrapped it up early. That's not important. Tell me what's this all about. I'm sorry, Yuto. I've fallen in love with Takahashi. Do you really mean that? You were always working and never gave me any attention, but he paid attention to me. No way. Haha, <laughs> well, that's how it is. So while you were secretly making a proposal, I was getting along with Makiko. On top of that, I took your project and won the competition. I ran after two hairs and caught both. What? You just said you took my project and won the competition? That was a really good plan. I admire your originality, but there were some parts that were not well thought out. That's why I rearranged it based on your idea. How dare you? But... How did you know my pass? Of course, Makiko gave it to me. Are you sure, Makiko? Ryuji asked me to do it, so I did. Well, that's how it is. I'm sorry for you. Well, you'll have to start all over again. Don't tell your next girlfriend anything too important. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe Takahashi took my job and my girlfriend away from me. I have nothing left. What am I going to do now? I was on my way home when I lost heart. Hmm? It's a girl. I don't see her parents either. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I can't walk because of the pain. You are injured. Did you fall down? Hold on a second. I went to the nearest chemist and bought a bandage and disinfectant and gave the girl's wound first aid. How do you feel? Does the pain feel better? Yeah. Good. That's good. May I ask your name? Momoka. Momoka Shiraishi. Momoka. You don't have to worry anymore. I'll give you a piggyback ride home. And I carried Momoka on my back and took her home. Is this the right way? Yes, go straight ahead. Ah, my home is here. This is a high-rise condominium. I didn't know you were a rich girl. Yes, who is it? Oh, my. Are you Tanaka from our company? What? Miss Shiraishi, this is your house? Mom! Momoka, you skinned your knee. I fell on the way. But you two put a bandage on it. It was a simple first aid. You carried her home. Thank you very much. I don't know how I can repay you. You don't have to. It's a matter of course. At least let me offer you some tea. Come on, come in. Thank you so much for finding my daughter. Momoka, weren't you scared? I was fine because you two was there. <laughs> You've grown very fond of him. Hey, Mom! Ito is an employee of Mom's company, isn't he? He told me that a bad person stole his project. What? He's depressed because he lost the competition. I'm sorry. I was just mumbling while I was carrying her. I heard that he lost his girlfriend too because of that bad person. Whoa, Momoka, stop! I don't know how to apologize to your daughter for telling her such a story. I didn't know it. I know exactly how you feel. Huh? I haven't disclosed this to the company, but I am a single parent. Come to think of it, there is no sign of a man in this house. 
my husband was having an affair with another woman while I was busy with work. So, I kicked him out. So I can't allow one of our employees to have a bastard who takes someone's girlfriend. Tanaka, leave the matter to me. Okay. I wonder what she's going to do. President, what is this sudden call for? Is it about the competition the other day? I heard I'm going to get an additional bonus. Yes, it must be about the competition. Takahashi, I heard that you stole Tanaka's project. What is this all of a sudden? You're making me look bad. Do you have any proof? <laughs> you are very feisty, aren't you? A person who didn't do anything guilty would not behave like that. I look at the computer login and attendance records. You're the only one who could have done it. Do you want me to check for fingerprints as well? You don't want to make a big deal out of this, do you? Shoot! And Takahashi, I heard that you also had taken away Tanaka's girlfriend. What? I heard that you used his girlfriend to steal the password to his PC, didn't you? I've been cheated on before, so I don't like cheaters. I'm not going to keep an untrustworthy person like you in my company. Leave this company. I'll call it a voluntary resignation if you leave now. What? Very well. I would say no even if you want to hire me again. It's already too late for you to regret expelling me from the company because I'm actually competent. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. A month has passed since then. Did you hear? I heard that Takahashi, the guy who quit, still hasn't been able to find a new job anywhere. It seems that his bad reputation is spreading throughout the industry. He was arrogant toward the subcontractors in the first place. I'm happy that he left the company. <laughs> You've got to be kidding! You rejected me! Why can't I be hired? Actually, I've been told by other employees that you're the only one they don't want to hire. You've been so overbearing. The person who did a bad thing may have forgotten but the person who got harmed remembers. Uh. Speaking of which, did you hear anything from your ex-girlfriend? After Takahashi left the company, rumors spread in the company that she had been cheating on you, and she quit because she couldn't stay. Yes, she came to apologize to me. It was like she was trying to get back together with me. I'm really sorry about what I've done to you. I finally realized that you are the only one I love. Makiko, I can't believe those words now. It's too late. If you're a grown-up, you know what I'm talking about. Once you lose trust, you can't get it back. Darn, I hated that kind of stubbornness in you. You've shown your true colors. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Well, you've been through a lot. I'm enjoying my work now, and I don't have time to think about the past. Thank you for letting me take over Takahashi's project. I hope I can repay you by achieving results at work. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Well, why don't you come over to my house today? Momoka would love to see you. If that's the case, by all means. You too! <laughs> you look great. I'm sorry for bothering you like this so often since then. It's okay. The house is too big for the two of us. You are more than welcome to come over any time. You too! You should come visit me every day. <laughs> I have to work, so it's not always possible. Huh? Oh, then why don't you become my dad? What? Yeah, that's a good idea. I like you, and Momoka likes you too. What? I love you, Yuto. <laughs> Think about it. They too saved me when I was rock bottom. We will continue to be together and we may even become a family. <laughs>